In this video we're going to check out Luminar 3 and I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't upgrade yet. Hello, my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we're going to check out Luminar 3 which is the new update that has libraries in it and I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't upgrade to it yet. So I was supposed to do this video last month, but I've been very, very ill of a suspected swine flu. I spent upwards of two weeks just in bed watching Netflix. Another week I couldn't even look at my monitor because it was giving me, uh, it was making me dizzy and I'd feel like I was going to be sick. So I've been very, very ill for the last three weeks. I spent the last week just catching up with things and now we're getting on to doing uh, this Lumen update. But I have to get this video of Luminar out of the way before we can move on to other more interesting stuff. So I have Luminar 3 installed and when you first load up Luminar it asks you to select a folder for your library. Now I've already done this and it took about two hours to compile the library and I'm like I didn't film that part and I was like well you know it is compiling the library so it is going to be a bit slow okay. But then when we come to load it up, it takes a very long time to load. Very long time. It's that slow at loading up. I could open up my images into Lightroom, edit my images in Lightroom, save them out in Lightroom, upload them to Instagram, wait for all your likes and comments to come on it, reply to your likes and comments, go downstairs, make a cup of tea, come back upstairs. And I'll still be sitting here with this screen waiting for it to load. This almost reminds me of back in the day when we used to have the Spectrum computer and you used to put your tape into the deck, type on load, and it used to come up with all the, uh, the little lines while it's loading and then you, you mess off, you go and get yourself a drink while you wait for your game to load. But this is a good opportunity to check this out. This is my lens pot. See that? My lens pot. If anyone wants to know how I've done this, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a video on how to create your own lens pot. We are still waiting for Luminar to load. What can we talk about? Mm. I have this. I have this ready for review. This is a um, this is Rayanox DCR 250. So that's going to be getting reviewed in the next few videos. What else can we talk about? How's your day been? Mine's been really slow. Oh! Finally! Finally! We have an interface. Okay, so... Here we are, we're finally in Luminar. That took a hell of a long time to load. I have 31,353 images. This particular image here, just as a, um, a blast from the past. Let's just wait for it to load. Um, hmm. If I cut everything out of the video, it might only be two minutes long. If we cut out the waiting. And about 30 seconds of that, we'll probably be talking about the lens pot. Another minute of that is me just sitting here trying to think of something to talk about while we wait for Luminar to catch up. Okay, there we go. This is the one of the very first pictures I took with a digital camera. This was on a Canon 400D. I just thought I'd click on it just to show you. I didn't think it would take up you know, five minutes of the video. Let's get back to the library. I got bored waiting for the library to load, so I'm playing Candy Crush. Ah, one out of moves. Ah, oh, we're still waiting. So that's me done. I'm gonna control or delete this thing. And uh, let's get rid of that because so if it takes that long to load when you could just edit the images in Lightroom or some other software, what's the point? 
So, um, when it comes to this, Luminar 2018, that's the one I looked at in December. That is still a good program, and I would suggest you use that for now. When it comes to Luminar 3, I've gone onto the forums, and uh, the, the makers of the software are aware of the issue, and they are putting out a patch at the, the beginning of February, I believe it was. Okay? So I would suggest when it comes to Luminar 3, I can't recommend that you install it yet, but I would say give them the benefit of the doubt. They've admitted that there are problems with it, that, that it is slow. Let's wait for them to release this patch and then we will revisit Luminar 3. Okay? If the patch does fix the problem, then I will do another video and I will update you on the situation then. But for now, I don't recommend that you use Luminar 3. I would stick to Luminar 2018 if you are using Luminar. If you got Lightroom, just stick with Lightroom for now. That's it for this video. I'd like to thank you for getting to the end of the video. Like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done already. And as always, I'll see you on the next video.